Hello everyone, welcome back to Lost from Gaming. My name is Malachi Gardner, and today I'm going to be unboxing a copy of Whitetail Wilderness Woodland Pursuit, designed by Kevin Shod. Now, before I get into this unboxing, I would like to let you know that this game was given to me by the publisher as a review copy. But with that in mind, let's get right into seeing what's in this box. Alright, so here it is, Whitetail Wilderness Woodland Pursuit, which is a bit of a tongue twister, if I'm going to be honest. So if I mess it up, that's why. So we have a publisher right here, which is InnoVenture Games, and it's designed by Kevin Shod, and the art is by Jenny Eckbush. One player only, ages 10 and up. 20 to 40 minute playtime. We have a little description here. Whitetail Wilderness Woodland Pursuit is a solitaire card game about hunting whitetail deer in the woodlands of Pennsylvania. Stalk through the wilderness searching for good hunting areas while pushing deer out of their cover. Once you have spotted deer, you will need to identify them and stay hidden as they approach. If their keen senses tip them off, they will flee in a flash of white tails. Can you shoot now or hope for a larger buck later? Can you make the shot when it counts? Alright, so, let's take the shrink off. I'm really looking forward to trying this game out. And there are two primary reasons for this. One, is because I like to try out games that are done by small publishers and small lesser known designers and spotlight them. I think it's really cool to see all the different games that are coming out and not just the top 10 games that everyone's talking about, you know, Frosthaven, and all those huge Kickstarter games. I think it's really cool to see some of these lesser-known games by lesser-known designers, and then you get to really have a full appreciation for all of the varied games that are coming out. There's a wild variety of games, and when you're just looking at the top 10 games, you're just seeing those 10 games, so you really want to see some of the lesser-known stuff find some really cool gems. Now the second reason why I'm really interested in trying out this game is because it is set in Western Pennsylvania and that is where I am originally from, the Lake Erie area. And one reason why I'm really interested in this theme is because I have actually done that. I've actually gone hunting in Western Pennsylvania. So I'm really interested to see how this game captures the feel of hunting, and I'm hoping it does so very well. So let's open this up. I do really like the art. I think it looks pretty nice. Some packaging. Alright, so there's not too much stuff here, and it's all in baggies, which is kind of nice, and it's good for storage. Now, I will point out that this is all Done. This whole game is done by the Game Crafter. It's a print-on-demand website where you're able to uh, enter in all the components you need and make the cards you need and put it all in, and then you can sell your games to people, and the Game Crafter will print them off every time someone orders the game. The pricing of these games, sometimes there's a little bit more. It costs a little bit more than you might be expecting, and it might take a while for it to come and that's all because it is done on a game-by-game -game basis. It's not mass-produced or done in any sort of print run. It's just kind of one-by-one. You know, one. So, it is a good place to find these lesser-known games by lesser-known designers. I dropped some dice here, so we have a bunch of dice, so I have eight dice here. and So I actually have seven here, and then when I dropped, so hopefully I won't drop any more components, but we have a little marble glass bead there, a little, probably your player token, um, looks like a house, and, um, hmm, maybe like a hunting nook or something, I'm not entirely sure what that is, with a bunch of cubes and a little token here, let's see some of these, so, all right, cubes, we have purple cubes, green cubes, and then red cubes. And then we have this little red disc that is used for something cool. We have some mini cards. All right, so these cards are pretty good quality. The Game Crafter has good 
quality components. It's not going to be like the most high quality thing ever. You're not going to get like a Stonemaier game type production quality in this, but it is very good and the Game Crafter is such a wonderful tool because you're able to have these games and you're able to self-publish your game. It's such a great tool. Alright, so these are deer and they each have a value there. So I'm not entirely sure what this is for maybe some sort of scoring or something like that. But you see doe are zero and then buck are worth, you know, 17 or whatever. And this is a huge buck, 11 points. And so I'm assuming, I don't know, there might be some sort of thing where you can only shoot a couple of deer. You can only take a couple of deer and you're just trying to get the biggest ones kind of like in real hunting. So we have a lot of deer here. Oh wow, it's a legendary. 25. Alright, so we have a lot of deer cards. And then we have some cards. Let's see. Alright, so I think these are just pen poker size cards, standard. Um, probably your player cards, that's what I'm thinking. So we have a wild move, a hide move, ID move. So these each have a value on them up here that I'm not sure exactly what it is. I wonder if it's maybe the value of that action. This is like a shoot three and then the wild is one. So I'm wondering if this can be like any type of action, but it's just a one, so it's not as good. I'm not entirely sure. They all have a move on them, so I'm thinking maybe you can do it for its action, or you can move. That could work. A backpack, a hand size of plus one, and a wild two. Binoculars. Scent blocking clothes, tree stand. More wild. Hide, a hunt. All right. Cover scent. Deer call, belt pack, telescopic sight, two dice for shooting, and a shoot three. Ground blind, attractant. All right, so I don't know, maybe 40, 50 cards, something like that. And then I think. This is probably the tiles, maybe. Buckhaven, Wilderness. So you have three different values, or four different values here. You have an A, C, V, and then a number there. And then you have some sort of ability here, like draw a card, discard a card. I'm not entirely sure what those values are for. Cabin, start of game, place two gear cards here. When you move onto or through the cabin, add the cards to your hand. All right. So, all of these location cards, I think, I wonder if these will be like face down at the start of the game. You'll have to explore them maybe. Don't know. All right, scenarios. So scenario book here, opening day, bonus tag, oh, monster book, coal, buckhaven, lair of the legendary book. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six scenarios, I think. All right. Rule book. All right, so you have 142 cards, 24 terrain cards, so it must be these uh, 64 deer cards 54 player cards all right i said 40 or 50 so it's pretty close one hunt tracker mat this must be uh, this thing right here look we'll about that in a little bit one deer mat 58 game pieces a green hunter pawn eight six side dice a hunt tracker marker 15 green activity marker cubes, 15 purple cover marker cubes, 15 vantage marker cubes. Okay, so I wonder if this may be activity, cover, and then vantage. 
then use the cubes to track it. I wonder if that's maybe what that is. Uh, let's see. You have a ground blind marker, tree stand marker, and a red deer lair marker. So that's what these little pieces are. All right, so let's see how many pages. All right, so we have 10 pages there. It's really not that bad of a read. All right, so then we have these two right here. So we have, all right, two of these double-sided tracks here. Let's see what these are called. We have a hunt tracker mat and a deer mat. So I think this might be the hunt tracker. So wonder if I'm, my assumption was correct where you can only have a certain number of deer. Maybe it's like six. Then every time you take it, it goes in there. That might be it. And then this is probably the deer map, maybe. The long deer appear at long range. No high test needed. Hunter action. ID medium. High test need one success. Hunter action. ID plus one die or shoot. Need two successes. In short, high test need two successes. Hunter action. Shoot. Needed one success. All right, so that is everything that you get in White Tail Wilderness Woodland Pursuit. I am looking forward to trying this out. It only has 10 pages of rules, so it probably isn't that complex. So I am looking forward to trying this out and then doing a playthrough video and then a review. And until then, I hope you all have a great day and happy gaming. Mm -hmm.